Hey guys, I'm GML Waffle, and welcome back to part 3 of our platformer series. Now, today we have a little bit of a problem. You see, my problem is, I want to add ladders into our game, but if we go into our step event, you'll notice that things are kind of starting to get a little bit messy and unorganized, and I'm really just not enjoying how messy it is. So, in order to combat that, we're going to implement something called a finite state machine into our game. So basically the way this is going to work is we're going to have certain states set for our game. We're going to have, just to start, a normal state and a ladder state. So what it's going to do is it's basically going to take certain portions of this code and run it in a normal state. And then, when we switch to our ladder state, it's going to ignore the majority of this code and just run our ladder code. That way we don't have to go through here for our movement and say, if place meeting, x, y, blah, 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 and ladder, and then add all these different else statements and just boggle down our code. Because you have to remember that this step event is run every single frame of the game. So the more you add, the slower it's going to go. So we're just going to clean that up a little bit. So the first thing we have to do is go into our room and in the creation code, we're going to create an enum and we're going to set enum states and inside we're just going to create two states, normal and ladder. So that's all you have to do to create your states. Now we're done with that, we can leave our room. And the next thing we want to do is create four separate scripts. Our first script is going to be called scr underscore input, not kput, input. There we go. Our next script is going to be called scr underscore normal. I'm just going to duplicate that and call it scr underscore ladder. Oh, not plus underscore ladder. And then our final fourth script is going to be scr underscore collision. And I think I spelled it wrong. There we go. All right, now that we have those four scripts created, what we're going to do is go into our step event and start moving all of this code over into our scripts that we've created. So the first one is going to have our inputs, so we can cut this out of our step event and close it. Go into our inputs and paste it in. And for this tutorial, since we're adding ladders, we're actually going to add two more. We're going to have an up key, and it's going to equal keyboard check word W. And we can copy and paste that down, not both of them for a down key, which is going to be S. And we will get back to those in just a little bit. So now that we have our input, we need to take our collision. So here's our horizontal and our vertical collision. We can cut that out and delete the extra space and just move it into our script for collision. Then we can take everything that's left, cut it all out, close our step event, and move it into scr underscore normal. All right, so now that that's done, we have this empty step event that doesn't call on anything. We actually want it to set our states. So in order to do that, we're going to triple comment here and call it toggle states. So we're going to use a switch statement to change our states. We're going to say switch state open bracket and we're going to make two cases inside of this switch. So case one is going to be case states.normal and it's going to call script underscore normal and then break 
and our second case is going to be case states dot ladder and it's going to call script ladder and then break all right so what this is doing is it's basically choosing and defining our states that we had set in our room creation code and since case states normal is the first one it is going to be the default that is set so now we're done with that what we want to do is add in our normal at the top we want to say scr underscore input and then at the bottom we want to say scr underscore collision this is just going to run our input and collision code but it'll help us clean this up so there's not so much going on inside of it and then inside of our ladder we actually want to do the exact same thing we want to say scr underscore input and scr underscore collision I can type there we go all right so now that we're done with that we want to go back into our normal script and we want to add something that will basically say okay now it's time to switch to our ladder state so we're going to comment here and say ladder state and inside here we're going to say if place meeting x y obj underscore ladder and and our up key or our down key is pressed then we are going to set our h speed equal to zero our v speed equal to zero and our state is going to equal states dot ladder all right so basically what this is doing is it's checking to see if we make collision with the ladder object and that we press our up or down key and if both of these things are true it's going to wipe our horizontal and vertical speed and set our state to our ladder state so basically after this frame is done and all of this code has been ran then it's going to go back into our player step event it's going to ignore that line and it's going to set this as our current state and since this is our current state it's going to run script ladder instead of script normal so then inside of our ladder script we need to say our h speed equals zero because remember we're on a ladder that's going up and down we don't want to be moving left and right at all and then we're going to say our vertical speed equals four times down key minus up key then we're going to set x equal to instance nearest x y obj underscore ladder dot x all right so before i go any further i'll just explain what this part does basically x is going to be set to our ladders x position that way you don't have that awkward little half hanging on the ladder half hanging off look this is just going to set it right in line with the ladder object and we're saying an instance nearest so it grabs the object that is closest to us and gets its x position all right so that is all you need for the ladder movement itself so now that we're done with that we basically want to reset it so that we go back to our normal state so in order to do that we're going to say if keyboard check bk underscore space or not place meeting x y obj underscore ladder then we are going to set our horizontal speed back to zero our vertical speed back to zero and state is going to equal states dot normal all right and that is really all you need to do in order to make a state machine so now that that is all done we can go into our room here and we can just add a couple ladders for effect 
All right, so we've got this nice little setup. I added a couple blocks up top here and a ladder. So if we close our room and go ahead and hit play, actually we wanna cancel that out real quick because we need to set our current state. So under obj underscore player in the create event, we actually need to say state equals states dot normal. And that is all you need to do. So that will set our current state to the normal state. All right, so here we are. We can still jump around. Everything's fine. We can glide. Our quicksand is still working. Sucking us in, trying to jump out. But when we hit the ladder, we instantly go into the ladder state and we can only move up and down. And the only way to get off the ladder is if we go to the top, then we're off the ladder. And then we can also hit spacebar to jump right off the ladder. So there you have it. That is basically in a quick video, the best way to do a state machine and just a little example doing it with ladders. State machines are great for a lot of things. You can use them for AI and pretty much anything you can think of. Like we might actually add an air state later in the game so we can control different things like our gliding and if we wanted to add any other effects like ledge gravity and things like that. So that is basically a state machine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and comment what you thought down below. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.